Welcome back to my Road to Completion Guide for Uncharted Drake's Fortune Remastered. This is episode number 16. At the end of episode 15, we have picked up the strange relic, and that was right after a combat sequence. And I know many of you turned your console off waiting for episode 16 to drop. So I just loaded up my game save there to show you where you would spawn in at when you continued. And I'm showing you here that there's a treasure on the other side of this gate that we're going to be picking up here in a second. But before we do that, I want you guys to head back up top. Go ahead and ledge up. Remember, we took a left here last time to pick up the strange relic. This time, we want to take a right. There's some rubble over here that you guys can jump over. On the other side is a treasure. This treasure is called the Silver Jaguar. That's going to be your 20th treasure out of 61. And that's also going to give you guys another trophy called Intermediate Fortune Hunter. All right, guys, let's make our way into the next combat area, and I want you guys to do an ammo check. If you feel like you're low on ammo, when you get to the top of this ramp, restart your checkpoint. You guys will spawn in at the bottom of the steps with full ammo. You see that? And you need this ammo. It's very important because we're going to have to kill most of the enemies in this next combat wave from this position. So let's go ahead and swap the camera over to our left shoulder. I want you guys to start working these angles. You're going to see some enemies start to flood in through this archway. Go ahead and kill them. As you kill the enemy, slowly make your way up the steps. That's going to give you guys more angles. You can see more enemies. Now you have to watch out for the shotgun. Or notice I get a headshot there. I'm completely covered behind that wall. If you guys don't feel comfortable doing that, go ahead and press O and take cover behind that wall. And you can kill that shotgunner with blind fire. Now at this point, we wanna make sure that we kill the enemy that's behind the truck before we advance. So notice where I'm pointing at now. That's one possible location where he'll flash out and try to get some shots at you. And this is the other possible location to the right of the truck, okay? So a lot of times if you guys shoot the red barrels, if he just happens to be behind the truck, when you shoot the barrels, you guys will kill him. If not, you're gonna to have to shoot him like I am here. There's also an angle you guys can get right there. See that it's just in between the crates in the bottom of the truck you guys can kill him that way as well but you don't want to advance through this tunnel until that enemy is dead so after you guys kill the enemy behind the truck go ahead and advance slowly through the tunnel put the camera on your right shoulder and shoot this barrel notice the angle i was able to shoot that barrel and the gunner did not have an angle on me that's exactly what you guys want to set up now you want to listen closely when you shoot that barrel you will be able to hear if an enemy dies or not if you know for a fact that the enemy is dead, then you can focus on the gunner. I'm just showing you there where the enemy might be. But if you don't think you killed the enemy, do not advance on the gunner. You just want to wait in that tunnel, keep your um, reticle up top on that platform, and the enemy will eventually flash to the right. When he does, you guys can shoot him and then advance on the gunner. And there's the gold mosaic Inca earring. That's treasure 21 of 61. That's the treasure I showed you guys earlier that was on the other side of the gate. So once you guys clear out that combat area, just run back and grab that treasure. Now we can just run around and collect ammo. There's one enemy that's going to flash out in the tunnel up here. I'm going to show you guys how to kill him. Uh, if you're not comfortable killing him the way that I show you guys on screen, there's some crates you guys can hide behind and just blind fire kill him. Whichever one of those uh, methods works better for you guys. And then we have a little story point that we need to hit before we can advance to the next combat area. And that's when I'll come back in with commentary. No sign of her. It's either very good or very bad. So at this point, we have some enemies advancing on our position, and we're going to use some red barrels to our advantage to thin them out, okay? So notice we got three enemies pushing up on this first red barrel. Boom, get those kills, and then there's an enemy at the back that red barrel. 
boom so that's four kills four enemies we don't have to worry about you guys can destroy the lock on that gate then i want you to advance over here to this position hide behind this piece of cover shoulder swap and get these kills now your only real threat at this point is going to be the shotgunner but if you guys stay back here and work these angles you guys will be safe now if for whatever reason you guys didn't get as many kills as I did using the red barrels, of course you guys will have more enemies down here that you'll need to kill. You can even go down there behind the crates and actually use your cover system behind the crates and see if you can get some kills that way. Uh, sometimes they'll even rush you and you guys can get blind fire kills. But normally if you take out four enemies or so using the red barrels, you'll just have to come down here, kill the enemy that's on the, uh, the main gun and then kill the shotgunner and you guys will be good. So notice that we swapped the camera over to our left shoulder. I'm just trying to get an angle on a red barrel off in the distance. If you guys hit that red barrel, it'll blow that entire area up down at the back of the map. That'll kill the gunner, and then you guys can advance safely through the tunnel. Go ahead and ledge up here, and then immediately press O to ledge back down. Shoot underneath the torch. That will cause the enemy to know that you guys are on the map. He'll advance the cover, and you guys can kill him with a headshot. And now we want to pick up a few items in this area. We want to grab the two grenades on the table, restock our ammo. There's also a treasure over here in the corner. It's called the Golden Spoon. That's going to be treasure 22 of 61. Then we have an M79 grenade launcher up the stairs. I definitely want you guys to pick that up. Very important that you guys have both of these grenades and the M79 grenade launcher before we get to the next combat area. So the next combat area, in my opinion, is the toughest in the entire game. If you guys can make it through this, I feel like you can make it through the rest of this game no problem. Okay, I'm going to show you this combat area twice because I want to show you what the enemies can do. Okay, so here's run number one. We're going to come over here behind the rock wall. We're going to fire the M79 underneath enemy number one. We want that explosive damage to kill him. There's enemy number two. Again, we're aiming at the wall, not the enemy. Then I want you guys to focus on killing this enemy. You can do so with blind fire or you can peek out of cover, whichever one feels comfortable for you guys. So after you guys kill enemy number three, I want you to focus on enemy number four. He's going to be dropping down from this top section. Notice that I'm focused on the wall. As soon as he splashes, boom, take him out with the M79. For enemy number five, I want you guys to toss a grenade here and then enemy number six toss a grenade back at that column. Now sometimes enemy number five will survive. If enemy number five survives, restart checkpoint, try again, okay? Because he tends to flank to the right and things get crazy. There's enemy number six. He's either gonna be on the right or the left side of that column. And now we're pushing into the next wave. So just wait here behind this piece of cover. Boom, there's enemy number seven. Take him out with some blind fire. Enemy number eight, we're hoping that he pushes us aggressively here. Now, sometimes he will flank wide and to the right. If he does, that's pretty dangerous, and you guys might have to restart checkpoint. You're hoping that he pushes you exactly like he's pushing me, okay? And I'll show you that here in a second. Enemy number nine, he's either going to be uh, where he was or where he is now. You guys can take him out with a sweet headshot. Now you want to run around and grab some ammo so we can set up for the next wave. So after you guys grab all the ammo that you can, duck down behind this piece of cover. We have two more shotgunners left. Now I want you to notice what happens here. See how he goes around the column. He flanks wide and to the right. That's exactly what you don't want to have happen in uh, this enemy wave or the previous enemy wave. See the angle he has on me? I have no defense. Okay. So part of getting through this combat sequence is knowing the order that you're going to kill the enemies and then hoping that the AI gives you that good RNG where they never flank you wide and to the right. So let's run this thing back. You'll see that I'm taking out the enemies in the same order, but they're not always going to be in the same spot. So there's enemy number one. Took him out the same way I did in the previous clip. There's enemy number two. Going to work my blind fire kills, or you guys can come out of cover, whichever way you prefer on enemy number three. Notice the M79, same thing. Enemy number four, waiting for him to splash down into the water. Boom, take that fool out with the M79. Now see what happens here. Normally I would toss a grenade there, right? But enemy number five broke to the right. Enemy number six survives the grenade toss. So now I have two enemies on the map. So I'm going to use my final grenade to make sure that I kill at least one of them. And then I can focus on the last enemy. 
So what I want you guys to learn about this combat situation is that the cover I'm showing you is solid. It will keep you protected most of the time, but the way that the enemies move on the map, you're gonna have to adjust. It's so variable, okay? Notice what's happening here. Now the enemy's not pushing me directly, but he's not flanking me wide and to the right either. He was gonna be tossing a grenade right there, so it's a 2v1. Obviously, while he's trying to toss a grenade at me, he's stuck in an animation. So I just came out of cover and got my shot on, right? But notice, they're not flanking me wide and to the right, so I'm pretty safe. Grenades can't really bother me. If they throw grenades to one side of this piece of cover, I just shift my uh, you know, body over to the left side of cover, and I'm completely protected. So I'm still following the same rules that I showed you guys in the first clip. I'm just hoping that the enemies don't flank wide and to the right. And now we have the final two shotgunners. Notice my aggressive play here. I kill both enemies before they even have a chance of advancing on me. Remember, if they advance on you guys and they flank you wide and to the right, it's game over in most cases, okay? The only problem with this strategy is if you fire all your ammo downrange and let's say you miss some shots and now you don't have no ammo left, now these enemies are gonna be advancing on you and you've got no ammo. So you guys are gonna have to figure out how much ammo you have when you're ducking behind that piece of cover. If you have a ton of ammo, I would fire down range, try to kill both of those shotgunners before they advance on you. If you don't have a lot of ammo, hide behind the piece of cover, cross your fingers and hope that the gaming gods allow them to stay in front of you and not flank you wide into the right. Trust me guys, this is by far the toughest combat encounter in the entire game. If you guys can make it through this combat sequence, you can make it through all of them, okay? It's all about knowing where you are on the map and what the enemies can do, and that's why I wanted to show you guys multiple clips, okay? Sometimes when the enemies flank you wide and to the right, it's better to just restart checkpoint. Maybe you guys get lucky and you can get your blind fire kills, but just know that when they flank you wide and to the right, they have advantage play. Outside of that, it's all about knowing which cover gives you guys the best chance at survival and then which weapons to use at certain parts of each wave. Remember that first wave, enemies five and six, those are gonna be the only two enemies that's gonna give you guys a really big problem, right? Uh, enemy one and two, M79. Enemy three, blind fire kills. Enemy four, M79. So when it comes to making or breaking that first wave, it's gonna come down to enemies five and six, so toss those grenades. And when it comes to waves two and three, you just have to worry about the right side flank. Remember, you guys can be aggressive, kill them before they even have a chance of flanking you on that right hand side, or just keep restarting your checkpoint. Once you guys get used to the flow of this combat sequence, you're gonna be able to get back to waves two and three fairly easy, okay? And just keep playing it until the AI kicks in and behaves properly. And when they do, and they don't flank you wide into the right, you guys can wrap this episode up, okay? If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Be good.